She right. wants you to do better than her. Right. So all the young ladies, please listen to me. It's it's so oh oh. Pay your taxes. Save your pay money. Your taxes. Invest. Facts. That was taxes because they definitely come get. That was get. awesome. <laughs> Now that we got out that that out the way, we got my big dog <laughs> OG Curry. We about to get into these dudes with don't relationships. Good child, right quick. We are back. <laughs> Definitely back. Uh, while my my uh, my guy uh, Dario in the back in the camera said up, we were just going to introduce OG Curry. OG Curry, man, talk to the people, man. Let them boys know. <laughs> About yourself, wait, man. wait. Before he start, I just want to let him know I miss him at Magic Mondays. Babe, where you been at? I've been kind of busy. Oh, been okay. Busy whatever. on Mondays, man. <laughs> Come on, I mean, bro, boy. You sound I mean, crazy right I mean, now, boy. I've been mixed. Oh, you've been, been working, so nah, definitely been be with the dog. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. I stalked the for about five weeks. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Yeah, but then you start putting the songs up about other girls on your Instagram, and I start getting mad. I don't like. She's a celebrity, so it's kind of hard for me to get her attention. Everybody be around her and like. The, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. crowding the space and I shit. I had a nigga actually like, damn, Kurt, we on that. I say, bro, chill, bro. Like, <laughs> you don't see what I'm doing right now. Like, you feel me? Aww. But she be, you know. I like, be paying you attention. I don't pay nobody attention. I be paying you attention. That's real. I, I fuck do. with that. Big facts, Kurt. So, yeah, yeah. Being Except when fan. you start talking about other girls, I don't like it. <laughs> oh wait, what was that song? <laughs> no, wait, it's, it's Woo! Oh, rap song freak. Song. She talking about oh, the one I Yeah, heard. I like that one. I said her name in a song before. Okay, all right. Is he like that? What's that? That's uh, where you want to over he, right there. Other than that, he be talking about all these other girls' songs. You know. That's where you want to over right there. The boy, y'all gotta listen to the song. <laughs> I, don't I don't remember. He the came off the dome with that, y'all. Yeah, y'all gotta listen to the song. All right, so look. Go ahead, talk your shit, bro. So look. This one, I can send it to you. Yeah, definitely. Add drop it. Add dro- right, if you could, or, or, or if somebody else, you, one of y'all got the record, y'all can add drop it to it. Or, or go ahead, you no, can do it. Right all right, for sure. Girl. So look, all right, for sure. To let the let, people. Let, let me ask him the question. Go ahead. So what you, what you been doing lately, babe? Um, just kind of <laughs> 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 working on my tape, trying to get stuff together. I'm trying to get on some shows and shit too. Get into acting. Okay, you got a um, so damn. You got a name for the project yet, or you still is still developing? Well, it's, it's something that I was supposed to drop before, but I had to take it down because of like copyrights on, on on one of the songs. Okay, but it's called Mr. Lauderdale. Mr. Lauderdale. So that's where you from, bro? Well, I know that, but to the people out in radio world, right, just let right. them know what section exactly. Lauderdale, Melrose, nine hundred two one zero, Lauderdale. You know. Okay. I, I mean, I really Melrose, grew up. I really grew up all like in all the areas and shit, okay. but like. Melrose kind of like where I got like my name and well, you know where I made my stamp at. You know that's my yo yo stamping ground right, pretty much. Right. Mo- that's okay. where all my day ones are. I feel like you're such a character, and most street guys don't like to be called a character, but you have you are so talented. charisma. He got character. Yeah, he yeah, he's you got so character. talented. Like he's he's not only good with his music. He's good. Like, he has all these crazy, funny skits. And I feel like the more he do that, the more his music is going to get noticed, too, sometimes. Because sometimes Big people fact. laugh before they listen to a record. I don't know why, but whatever. Big but, facts. Um, Big facts. That's how I noticed him. He actually came to um, a thing that we were doing. And that's why I was like, you have to bring him in here for the do's and don'ts. Because his opinion on a lot of stuff, it was so funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm, the podcast thing. <laughs> he was so funny and interesting. And he just stuck out. Like I said, I feel like this, this he is very, very talented. I feel like he does need to do movies. So if there's anybody out there, like any booking agents that, you know, movie deal. Well, look, after this segment, we're going to walk you next door because uh, if he's still in the building, my guy, Rich Black, actually the guy that owns this station, he's uh, he got a couple... Couple, a couple deal, a couple movie project with uh, what's that? This that platform, everybody. Amazon. Not Amazon. Tubi. 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 And um, I'm and, writing a movie right now. Most everywhere. Well, you need to holler at him, bro. You feel me? Because he he's actively. And I'm talking about they out. He got shit that's out now. Shit that they're producing like. Yeah, oh, Rich Black. Yeah, he's his movie. Oh, nah, nah, bro, really? So, like, definitely. That's uh, everybody that come through this building that's on that type of time, I try to, like, point them in that direction. We got my <laughs> camera man, like, you know, we got Barrio, Eternal Production. Shout out E Pro in the building today. <laughs> 
No, his music is Ratchet. crazy too. He's on the theme song of Ratchet and he wrote a few of those records as well. So if y'all watch the show with um, Bro, that's Richard amazing, Richard bro. That's 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 that's, that's so something to marvel at, bro. I, coming from I, our community, him. you know what I'm saying? Definitely I wanna give you your flowers for that right now, bro. You know, that's a big move. I don't know. I met him as opinionated as he is. I could like I was just saying to myself, I didn't even know he was doing all of that, what he was doing. Okay. So yeah. that's how I started watching him. That's crazy. I wasn't talking to eBay. But I started watching I started watching him through just him being who he was. Like just him having so much character. Facts. And then listening to his music, like that's a whole nother level. I got yeah. a bad yeah. habit of not like when I when I meet people and talk to people a lot of time, I got a bad habit of not like not letting them know your accolades, about, everything but, you got but that's going. Because I don't like I be wanting a bit to like me for me. I respect I don't want that. I want a bit to feel like oh he got shit with Issa Rae. Hey baby, nah, I ain't on respect that. that. But like, not, I don't like fake love. I had some, I actually had a homeboy tell me one time. He was like, bro, I used to talk about like fake shit, like people liking my shit on Instagram and shit like that. Bitch, don't even fuck with me. And he used to be like, bro, you got to learn how to accept the fake mm -hmm, love, bro. You do. That's what people watch. People right. see the love. And they follow us. They, right. they, they follow us. The yeah. Love. Right. And he was like, and that's where stardom and fame come in. It's Facts. fake love. Big so facts. So yeah. you just can't have one without the other. So Big facts. fake love back or what? I mean, it, if it's money involved, hell yeah. If it's money involved, you can't. As long as it ain't no shit to go against my belief, right. or like you ain't size nobody that I love, like then shit. If it's a check involved, bitch, I'm all for it. Fuck it. Yeah. Big fact. Uh, speaking of uh, that, I caught you out in L.A. a couple months ago. Y'all was. I'm not sure if you was there, Joy, but I, I know the crew. I don't know LA. When you was in L.A. They was in L.A. for the for something with Issa Rae yeah, with the rap shit. Soundtrack, um, release party. And it was a soundtrack. I'm scared of LA. Okay, how was that experience, my boy? Was that your first time out in uh, LA? I am too. I don't feel like that. I, I'm a San it Diego my, type of nigga, but talk to me. Go ahead. <laughs> it, was my, it was my second time, but the first time I was on like some other so shit. Other shit. I didn't really get to enjoy myself like that, but you know, we went out. I ain't gonna lie, like, to be honest, like, they kind of looked out. Like, they flew me out there. Issa Rae, Every, you got the embrace from her. Uh, she fucked with you. Man, okay. Issa Rae loved me. Okay. Like, okay. We, um, you know why? Because of she like real people you're yeah. real you're right. a real person like without you even trying like that's i ain't trying to be blow your head up but you are a Lord real Lord. you are a real person <laughs> i think that's why i paid you attention because everything that i probably won't look at with these yeah, team remember, really trick has made me not like <laughs> trick has made me not like gold teeth right i have a phobia because i just think everybody would go see crazy but um <laughs> My bad. yeah he was just a, such an interesting interesting person when i when i first heard him speak I, me and trick was like he is funny like he you know he went back she and don't forth know, with us. but like i mean she know Man, I've been in this lady test for like two years. I'm so, I didn't even know how I was grabbing her like, come shit. Yeah, at first I was like, hey, dude. I was like, hey, what's wrong with him? Then he'll be my dude. I'm like, mm. But when I when we went to the, I ain't gonna lie, who you made them come to her? When he came to the thing, I was like, oh, he cute. He's smart. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, the woman hey. is. Oh, Kurt, man, I want to clear something up, man. I don't know that. The last time I saw you, I think, was in Magic Mondays, and I invited you to the show. I gave you, sent, told you that we wanted to have you up here, but I left out of town for like a month. So if you remember that moment, you know what I'm saying? You here yeah. now, we good. I ain't gonna lie, bro. So we can bam, do another bam, one. Bam, bam, so bam. Definitely, people definitely. walk up to me like places and shit, but like, it's like, I'm still kind of getting used to it, bro. Because right. nine times ten, I just be wanting to get to where the fuck I'm sitting and chill. And like, fact. you know, I be wanting to talk to people and I just tell you, like, hit my DM. Cause I answer my DMs. Fact. And I'm not really like that. Like, with rappers, I'm kind of like that. Like, I got to see your like. Like what you did Because mm -hmm. like You know This a business still mm -hmm. And I gotta see Whether I, I need to charge you Or whether it'll benefit me benefit Because you fact. got eyes on you But with like Podcasts and shit I don't really care You could be Starting your podcast Tomorrow So I tell All the interviewers And podcasts and stuff Get them my DM I'm gonna pull up And I'm glad that you said that Because a lot of Artists Don't do fucking God, A lot of artists Don't understand the benefit Of uh Visiting all these platforms, bro, there's no platform too small because even if you got 10 views from that podcast that you're talking about that started yesterday, that's 10 more people that's privy to your brand that probably ain't know nothing about you yesterday. You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists, they overlook platforms, even like ourselves with the amount of work that we, you know, that we put in the community. They still be for sure. Now, if it's shit just janky as hell, sorry to cut you off on it, if it's just janky as hell with just, you know, some platforms. 
within the market that I wouldn't even advise people to visit. But if it's just janky as hell, then yeah, but you know what I'm saying? But time is time, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. But like, I'm, I'm like, she'll tell you, like, I knew Vonna since like 2017. Okay. I remember doing shows, her shows, coming to her shows, and like, she'll come up to me and be like, Curb, could you switch spots with this artist because he really gave me a big deal, blah, blah, blah. and I'll be like, man, I don't give a fuck. And then I'll probably be the last nigga, and it'd be like two motherfuckers in the crowd, and I still do the same. Do your thing. No, bro. I don't mean it. I don't. I don't mean it like. Nah, he do. He flexible. When I say two people, I don't mean. Actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just remember like. You know how that shit is at them showcases. Right, right. You're like the last person to perform, or one of the last people to perform. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody gonna be gone because everybody much. Was already. Facts. And I went to like more than fucking ten of her shit. So sometimes I was early, sometimes I was late, depending on when I came. So mm-hmm. it really was up to me. But the point I'm trying to make is like, man, I don't give a fuck if it's just the DJ. We finna rock out, and we finna get this shit going because the DJ might record me. But that's how you master your space set. Now you know Facts. how to act, how to react to the crowd, how to get everyone to engage, like doing little shows. Or Man, he coming there Magic Monday, Mondays, he turn that shit up. Big fun. Yeah. yeah. Now everyone hey. requests her Everybody when they see him in there. Look, 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 look. Curb don't even know he's performing. They, they, they be texting me and Bond. Oh, Curb just walked in. Like, oh, yeah, we're putting him to perform. He's like, oh, why didn't you? I, I, be, com- I be coming to see her. I come right in. Right. <laughs> they right hey, hand you the mic. Right Yo, Curb, you ready to go on stage? Right. Nah, he here for that tonight. Fact. I be like, he showed out one week, though. I was right with him. Yep, Curb. I, I finally caught on stage. <laughs> Huh? I had to go in. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. They. Yeah, four oh, there's battery right there. All right, so look, let's get into the this and that. I got a bunch of questions for you. We are gonna bring you back up here another day for a show. No, for real. I say after that, no more. I did it one time. <laughs> we had these. Mas- yes, I was a hype girl. This was in the beginning, long time ago. They boost me up to do it. I don't even know how I ended up on that yeah. stage. <laughs> you was holding I had the mic a, up We there. had matching outfits on it, everything. Oh my god, I forgot that story. You got hit the ad libs. No, it's just horrible. Like, what, what you know, I talked long time ago. This like long years. Ago, we was I at. What's that? Oh, I hope it ain't a video. What was that club? Chris Style. Club Chris Style. Oh my God! We had these towels, mosquito towels, <laughs> and cut them up and made an outfit. And had these style boots on. <laughs> Bruh, I forgot about that. No, it's long time ago. Right. <laughs> I'm telling my age again. I'm telling my age again. Okay. Just before I was getting in the club. Oh no, I was in there about 15, 16. Oh man, man. Tasties. Ecstasy. So listen, <laughs> so listen, the, the song that y'all just heard, right? Like, like he said, he was like bothering me for a good little minute, but I really ain't. I thought he was crazy. I didn't know what was going on. He just, just smiled, and all I seen was hair and teeth, and I'm like, oh my God. But when I heard that song, I was like, this boy can really fucking rap. Like, he really got some bars. Like, nah, definitely. And I know he came up with all that. So I was like, most people can't even have like lyrics like that. Like, it's not well put together. And I understand. I understood everything he was saying. So that's when I started paying him attention as far as his talent was concerned. You know? Facts. Facts. And then nah, I started definitely. seeing him, and then he started smiling. So I was like, he's kind of cute. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Go ahead. <laughs> Nah, definitely a, a talented record. It's the, uh, you definitely pulled off like a 50 cent how to rob, but for the ladies real quick. But he you know knew what he was doing. The ladies he in the market. That's definitely get them in that mix it. with it. I mean, definitely, right? He that got all of us to repost it. Great marketing. He was like, who he said I did? I wrote the whole song just to get to that one line. Just to get that one, I was about to say, man, why that line ain't come a little no sooner? Way. But I respect that. He wrote the whole song. Say the best for last. I fought with that. She's a rapper and she made the song. You made the song. Oh wow! Is it out on DSPs right now? Can we go? Can we go listen to that record on Spotify? Apple Music? Is it out? Or are we waiting I mean, on it? I ain't never drop it because that's Young Miami that's beat. So oh, it's on so one of them tights. So one of them But he got more stuff that he's gonna drop that he done drop. And make sure you tell him okay, where to okay, find okay. you at. OG Kurt at OG Kurt nine five four on Instagram and pretty much everywhere. Well. OG K U R B. With who? Go check the interview that we have with OG Curve when we're on the block radio. Yeah, we're 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 know, we do. Yeah, we do. Oh, we we did. did. When hey. I did Carisha. Food for Haiti. Oh, shit, okay. Oh. Somebody, oh, somebody memory okay, okay. fucked up. I wasn't here. I was in LA. I was out of town. My bad. Smoking on that good, good. I was. I was the whole yeah, time. I got every bit of my f- money. I did <laughs> it all. <laughs> I, okay, love, love. I wasn't here that day. Okay, for sure. Um, let's get into the do's and don'ts, man. This should be pretty interesting. All right. So basically, we're we gonna ask you 
a series of relationship questions. They not nothing too crazy. Just do's or don't. We gonna get your perspective, man. Your pers- it's good that we got a male and female perspective on them. First show. All right, do's or don't. First, first, uh, first uh, question. Asking to borrow money on a first date. OG Curve, man, talk to me, man. You ever been in that jam where you met a shorty off air and been like, hey, yo, yeah, check yeah, it out? It's definitely a don't. It's definitely a don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially on a date. Ask me for money while I'm spending money. Money already. Like, like, you put it in a bar, like, I hope I can do it. Like, no, that looks very bummy. On you, the you'll run somebody off with that. Do it. The car is frozen. I had <laughs> girls <laughs> to do that to me, like some girls I was hanging out with. But if I, like, and I was already offended with that situation. So I couldn't imagine a guy. No, that looks very The car, I can show you, it's just frozen. I can say what the I want to say. The car is frozen. Or get for grabbing another car, call somebody to cash out. If you show me, right, huh? huh I can Vonda? say whatever I want to say. You can say yeah, whatever you want to say. If you ask me for money on the first day, I'm going to ask you for your pussy. And I knew you even swap that. no swindle, huh? It's like I'm shit. Just saying, if you want, if this, if that's what this bot just just charge me for. Right. We ain't gonna even go through all and see, that. And so. this is why I say bring him in here. You see this? <laughs> right. At right. This point, I'm dating a prostitute. Like, why are you asking me for money? I'm taking you on a date, bro. Like, we we gonna get there. Just be patient. It's true. It's, true. it's gonna be a day when you could be like, hey, babe, shoot me, uh, uh, uh. And then I, I'm right. gonna be like, uh, I'm gonna be your. You gonna be like what? Yeah, but you gotta chill. You gotta I'll say be. it again. You gonna be like what? Uh, what? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the city girl generation Hennessy boys Not the first day I don't need no city Not the first day Hennessy I mean <laughs> <huh>. <laughs> <laughs> Not the first day though yeah, but that just looks very like, It look like broke bitch tees Like broke nigga tees broke bitch. I'm not one of Hey listen I done oh, met recently The guy should be paying for the date Definitely Okay. But if, if you pay for the day, I'm not gonna be like, oh, by the way, can I go like that? That looks crazy. A girl should never even be asking. Not the first day. You start hey, bro, crying, so, bro. Like, I'm gonna be real with you. Recently, recently, uh, I got this chick number, and uh, about city about, and state, city and state, please. Said it, city and state, please. Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Stop, yo, go I ahead, got go the ahead. girl number. I swear to God, 12 hours later, I'm like, yo, I just hit up on some, yo, what's up? What you got going today? She hit me with, could you pay my uh, such and such bill? I hit her back with the maid. Could you give me some head? Uh-huh. She hit me with the delete my number. You feel me? I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> however you took that was how you took it. So whatever you said to her, she should have took it. Exactly. The way it should have been taken. Mm-hmm. And that was not that. And it's like, you can't, like I'm not your dad, and I'm I'm surprised I'm even saying this. I'm not your dad. I'm not like I I don't even know. I I just met I just you. met you. 12, I just met you. <laughs> yeah, it was a little disrespectful for you to probably say you are gonna give me some hair. You could have said. Bro. So what are you gonna do for me? Yeah, I'll show you could have said that. Message. I'll show you the text message. Yeah, no, right. you said it right. I'm gonna tell you why. You said nah, it right. there you go. There you go. You said it right. There you go. Wrong person to ask. I feel the same way about my money. The way you feel about, about your, your pussy, your mouth. Yeah, but all you gotta do is go watch that. You know what I gotta do for my money? But he could have right. said, "What you gonna do for me?" <laughs> nah, I just I went straight to the. the bush. I had to go. Cause I felt tried. Cause like, cause oh, said, oh, look. No, she could have said. She could have just been like, "Can you help me out a little bit?" She ain't have to just come straight to ask for the money. She asked I don't even know. Even that would have. I probably still would have cracked for the head if she would ask me. She could have said, "Let me. Do you want, want your house clean or something?" Or, or she could have. <laughs> she could have invited you over, right, to a home cooked meal. Henny, that's what you feel you me, like, ladies, man, and women and men. Y'all know how to fix. 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 Y'all know so no, do it, it. Don't. It's a definite don't. Don't ask no motherfucker for no money on the don't first day. Be. All right, asking to go Dutch on the first day. You pay for your shit. I pay for my shit. We just met. We don't know each other like that. I don't care about none of that. I'm. That's just tacky. That's tacky. It's just tacky. Yeah. Whoever invite. Well, and see, this is me. If I invite you to dinner, I'm probably gonna pay. You get what okay. I'm saying? If the guy invites you, the guy should pay. Okay. I don't. I feel like what is a dinner? Like it's not that serious. It ain't that serious. Definitely. It's definitely. not that serious. So. Like being like what the time frame that I was brought up in, most guys they don't want you to pay for nothing. You get what I'm saying? Facts. And, and if you can't afford it, like if you can't afford to go 
to these expensive restaurants, like go, you know, within your budget so you don't have to be so stressed out about the bill when it comes to where you're going to tell somebody else, oh, you got to pay for your food. I just think that's tacky. With a man, even with a woman, even with a woman taking a man out, that's just real tacky. Like, no. Okay. OG Curve. Oh, shit. Okay. Because it's like, if, 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 I feel the same way. Because, like, if I'm out, like, if we out and even if we not smashing or nothing like that, like, and even if we is, you, if we, like, talking, like, on that level, maybe if you my friend, too. If I got it like that, shit, I got you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm Big not going to take you out if I ain't got it like that. Big I'm going to make sure that I can handle the whole bill. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like, it, it just like, like I'm like that with my mom. If I go somewhere with my mom, I'm not going to let her pay Big for fact. her shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if it don't matter where we at. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's a situation where I'm, I ain't got it like that or I'm in between checks or something like that. That's different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But... As long as I got it, you got it. Like, we straight. Like, I ain't finna do all that. Most definitely. That's crazy. It's the invite for me. Don't be inviting people out and you ain't got it. And if that's the case, you say that part first. have an understanding. Yeah, that was to say that part first before you say the invite. Be like, oh, yeah, you know. We should go together individually at a place, you feel me? I don't have it like that. Or, you know, however you want to phrase it, because you know niggas and their egos. So you ain't got to you ain't gotta portray that you ain't got it. You know, however you need to phrase it. But you feel me? And your chances of getting lucky is like this. That is a slip after you do that shit. Right? Rap, well, she's so turned off. Uh, <laughs> I had a guy. I had a guy. pay for your shit too, nigga. I had a <laughs> being Being what I came from... Being where I came from, food was definitely not a problem. Right. And nothing else. I ain't going to lie. That's one thing I can't give him. But I remember after leaving that situation. Oh, my God. I don't believe what I'm saying. 30 pounds. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> one thing about me, I'm going to eat. I don't give a fuck. How do you believe I'm going to eat. No, listen. I went on a date with this guy, right? We, You know how you just know it's like this good-ass food spot. Like, it was this lady's house that she cooked some good-ass food. Mm-hmm, oh, my mm-hmm. God. Everybody was talking about the food. I was like, yo, take me over there. Like, I want to go get some food from there. Like, me, I ain't no bougie-ass bitch. Like, I like nice restaurants, but if I know where some good food at and it's in the fucking hood, we're going to the hood. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't care. So, mind you, play. Mind you, person had buku money. Y'all listening? Right. Yeah. Go to the lake. You go sit down. Oh. Wait, come sit down. Hey, here. Yo. So. Yeah, come have a seat, man. Sit down. Sit down first. We... We go to the food spot, right? We go to the food spot. He brings out two plates, one cup. Mm-hmm. Two plates, one cup. Mind you, I said we was in the hood, so y'all know it wasn't. It wasn't no expensive restaurant. So I'm like, okay, but well maybe he he missed your drink, basically is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, maybe he, he didn't just came to put out. the food in the car. Mind you, this he Damn, had a that's um, like a minor detail. He had a he had a he had a Porsche. <laughs> Damn. He had a Porsche. He had a Porsche. He had a Porsche. So I'm, I'm just trying to let y'all know like what type of quality I was dealing with at the time. Like this man had money, so he brought one drink and two plates. Me, I'm greedy. I actually eat two fucking plates, but I was being cute. So I was like, okay, let me just get this one plate of food because I was about to ask for extras. Right. But I was like, let me be, you know, let me chill. And so I'm like, okay, maybe he brought the food in to put the food down to go get go get the other cup because he probably couldn't handle it all. Okay. The nigga crunked the car up. So I said, okay, maybe he cutting the air back on so I don't be hot. <laughs> right? That's what I'm thinking. I said, maybe he cutting the air back on. Do y'all not understand? I literally had to turn and look at him and say, yo, where's my drink? Like, I ain't said it like that. I was like, you probably, I said, well, um, what's that? He was like, oh, it's strawberry lemonade. And I said, you ain't think I want I said, you ain't, well, I said, you ain't give me one? He said, oh, I ain't think you like that. I was like, <laughs> what? First of all, you Nigga, just lied water? To my face. Like a water bottle? <laughs> you just lied to my face and said, oh, I ain't think you want one. Like, that was your excuse? Right. All this food up in the east. Right. <laughs> it was so food. No, it was like kung fries, um, crab cakes, like some good she, she ass shit. Yeah, right. yeah, but like, why would you buy yourself a drink and like don't bring me a drink? That's crazy. Yeah, not, yeah, definitely. Was he being cheap or just inconsiderate? That's what I'm saying. I had to stop yeah, fucking with him because I feel like he was inconsiderate and cheap. That's I weird. feel like he was inconsiderate and cheap because really weird manners. Right. Yeah, it's right. really weird. Manners would have like, told you, let me buy her something to drink. But did you ask I'm going to have something to drink, man. Yeah. 
don't matter. Or just got it. <laughs> it don't matter. Feel me? Oh, well, you didn't ask for no drink. Like, you just playing. Yeah, but I'm just thinking, why would you buy a, a person to play food? You ain't bring them back no drink. If I would have brought you a place to play the food, I would have brought. I don't think I drinks. ever bought both anybody of. food without buying them. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's if I come back with a drink, it's two dollars and something. I didn't think you'd be thirsty after this. Like, what are you saying? Oh, I didn't think you would want that. I was like, why? What are you talking about? Like, for you to lie in my face, for you to lie in my face and tell me you didn't think I wanted that, that just made it worse. Hey, I want to. Not to cut y'all. I definitely want to uh, shout out my boy, the real Pluto. Finally came. Smoking Pluto, this man. This shit. Joy. I can't breathe. I got ass. Drink I champs in here. <laughs> so we vibing out. But we definitely go tap. We go tap it in. We in, we doing these do's or don'ts right now. But we definitely uh, appreciate having you at the table right now with us. Definitely. Uh, next do or don't. If you meet a okay, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna flip it because I think it's cliche to ask you this question. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna ask you this question first. OG Curb, you meet a female and she's an avid gamer. She's spending ten to twelve hours a day on the game. She might have a job that she she got a job, but she's spending a lot of free time on a video game. Do or don't in a relationship? Is the game paying her? The game is not paying her. The game not paying her. She's trying to get to the. I guess she's such an avid gamer that she's trying to get to the point where. Her Twitch account is doing those type of numbers, but she's not there yet. Talk to me. I mean, are you supporting her gaming? If she if she like it, I love it, fam. Like I, okay. I I'm, I'm gonna support my girl as long as she like still like doing the shit that I wanted to do. Like, babe, if I need you to come out with me or something, put the game down. But don't argue with me about the fucking game. When you know what I'm saying, like, we don't let this game like, come between us. Like, I'm, 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 <laughs> No, I'm gonna tell you something. That's why I wanted to ask him first. I can't do that. I'm gonna tell you. Right. I had bought an Oculus, right? And the Oculus. That's the. That's the VR shit. Okay, okay. Man, I was fucked up. Every time, I, every time she that called, walk around, I'm, I'm shit, like, I'm, yeah. So <laughs> the shit, like, I really got into it, and then it's like real, like you could be social on it too. You feel me? Fact. So I was meeting people. Like these people created like a wilding out world. And they mm-hmm. had me as like their first musical guest. That shit was lit. Not lit. My in the mom, VR world. At, you did was, your first first. I was at my mama's house, lit. and she she come in the living room. I'm at, I'm in that bitch, and she gonna bust it open. She gonna like with the with the fucking head, yeah, yeah. and she just Gary, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so like, but after a while, like they they you know of course they love me on there, so. They would be like, oh, all right, man, we're going to get together Friday, 8.30. I'm like, fam, it's real life shit going, going on at 8.30. Right. Friday, Friday night, Friday, right? Friday, like, you tripping. Right. So it's like, you just got to, you got to, you got to break, you got to realize that you just got to be considerate, bro. Make That's sure. all. Like, even even if I was the nigga sitting on the couch playing the video and video, video game and shit, I could cut this shit off, man. You just... We grown, bro. Man, you look like the type of nigga that cut it off. But there's, there's a lot of them niggas. I was in, bro. Oh my god, I was in my partner house. Yes, last night edited video. His little brother, that bitch, having an all out fucking fist fight with the game. And it, oh, fucking right. goddamn, yeah. ah, yeah. bitch. Yeah. Like, like when I was younger, dad, come at. Like right. Man, walk in front of listen. Go get some Walk in front of this TV screen. I'm a real, I'm a real touchy ass nigga. Anyway, <laughs> you walk in front of the screen. I'm not finna be like, get out of the way. I'm be like, ooh, come here. Right. Sit on my lap. Let's play this game. Come on. Get out of me. Uh-uh. Like I'm a, yeah, like. Yeah. So I don't know. I ain't on that. That's crazy. That's weird too. Oh. No, I was finna say maybe it just takes structure. Cause my brother, he was a heavy gamer. Like up until the moment he left for military, nigga came back a whole new nigga. You don't know what the game is. He's so tired. He got a he got a schedule. He he helping. He mentoring young ones and shit. So I feel like it's just a structure. The game like TV with when kids. You know, single moms or not? Cause my mom was a single mom, but my mom raised us as a TV kid. So you feel me in front of the TV. But as long as you have structure, or something to do. The kids get out out of front of the TV. Take my side. You see what he said when he we said like it wouldn't go. bother him, uh-huh. like if he would just like like Hold play up. with the person, like you know what I'm saying. Like mm-hmm. I don't like the people that do that and just focus on it. Like you have to understand. Like I just walked in the room. Right. Okay. And I'm not coming me, at nigga. you, been over and just be funny or whatever. I don't want you to still be playing the game and don't even pay me no attention. You can give me a slap. Babe, move, get out the way. Yeah, that's when I find the problem. He's like, hey, what the fuck is wrong with I'm you? I'm loud. Throw that like, shit. Yeah. Right. You can just tap me on my ass and be like, hold right. on. I'm almost finished or whatever the case may be. But like, if you don't show nothing, like I have a problem with that. Okay. You know what I mean? Just to reverse it a little bit, like, like if I was a gamer, like. 
And I don't want no girl who gonna be crabbing me about playing my game. If I wanna play my game, let me play my game. If anything, like, you know, be a little spontaneous or something like that. Yeah. He's coming like, out after the game. Cut the volume up. Like, let me suck your dick while you play college. Right. Like, oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, you know, but shit just gotta be, you gotta be in a relationship, bro. You gotta know how to make shit fun and, and make it about, especially with women. Like how you say you gotta cater to our egos. Women love attention from they nigga. And you gotta give them attention, bro. Well, like, see, I'm a little different. I ain't never been the one to say I love attention because I'm a Gemini and I like quiet time and quiet space. And I, I'm kind of weird to people because I would literally not, I don't care if I don't see you for three days. But as long as I know we got that connection and like I love you and you love me, I feel like we good. But most guys, they can't deal with that. But my brain is going through it. So I don't need to be around you right now. And it's not you, it's just me. You get what I'm saying? So I have to be by myself. So I just like people that know like when to give you your space and like if you're doing something constructive or something like most people that play video games, they do it to get there. It's like a Enjoy stress be, reliever. Just try to stay in front of the mic. You most people be that, up on it, but just be in front of it. Yeah, move it over. Right, so right, yeah. Yeah. Bad, most people that play video games, it's like a stress reliever. Right. Like my stress reliever, I smoke hookah or watch movies. Right. Definitely smoke hookah. You shut up. It don't have nothing like sometimes I could be going through something and it's not you the problem, but I just have to put myself in a place to where I'm comfortable. <laughs> So if I had a game or boyfriend or something and they just did not pay me no attention, like, yeah, I would probably have a problem, but I'm not the type of person that need all the attention. Big fact. What kind of movies do you like? Um, not scary movies. Though. I don't like scary, scary movies. I like like um <laughs> Avengers. You don't like the bitches either. I like weird. I shit. like the action, scary shit that like. I like Harry keep Potter, you Avengers, your, anything Marvel. You hey, you want to hear something action. funny? Go ahead, bro. My baby mama used to look at me like I was such a weirdo for watching Harry Potter. Oh no! One time she came in the living room. I'm sitting, <laughs> and, I'm, and I, I probably was looking like a little kid because I'm, I'm like, I'm What's funny with the couch. I, no, I'm funny with the couch. Uh, like I could sit on the couch for so long, I slide down that bitch and sit on the floor and lean on the couch. So you know what I'm saying? I'm probably sitting there looking like this, and she like. Like, bro, you Harry bro, you know what it is? I love that werewolves, vampires. That, Ooh, that's that not film about got so many, oh love, so many layers to it, and you the type of person Wolverine. that say like you got an intricate mind. That shit is entertaining to you. You feel me? It's like that shit got is is it ain't you know what I'm saying? It's so much different wizardry. It is I used all to type be in a movie shit, theater man. by myself because nobody right. wanted to go with me. But Facts, kids. right, I go with you. Okay. Right. You still gotta, we gotta maintain the imagination as we get older. Definitely still. Exactly. You know, uh, next question. We got about six more, so try to no, get through. No, you got one. three more. I gotta pee. All right, for sure. We got three more. All right. Wait, what you eat? Is downstairs? What you got over there? Why would you do that? Don't bring that in here. My stomach right. growling. Right. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> we got three more questions. Go we gonna make sure we wrap this shit up for you so we good. <laughs> All right, nah, definitely. Um, Y'all need Passing burner. gas, you oh, got pass gas don't next to that. you in the bed. Don't ask me that. Don't ask me that. No. Don't ask me that. Why is that? Don't ask me that. It's bad. I ain't gonna lie. I can't help it because I, I, because I, I don't care. I fart in my okay. sleep. That's that's the answer. So you gonna get you it, gonna you get, know, get it? You gotta be <laughs> like, built for that. I done had a girl be like, you fart. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> Some of my friends and some of my family, they think that's the nastiest, grossest thing. Like they don't burp or anything around their guys. But one thing about me. You gonna let it rip? I'm gonna be like, mm, excuse me. <laughs> or if I know it's gonna be a, hey, a nigga, situation, I'm gonna walk off I'm gonna, and be like, yo, I'm this shit hot. <laughs> it's hot, and I already know it's gonna do some damage. So let me just right. walk over here. No. Huh? I'm gonna talk shit. I don't, I don't mind, but I'm gonna, talk, I'm gonna be like, yo, it's a little stank ass. <laughs> right, uh, look, look, cute, yeah, look. I ain't never been that no, tight. I feel like you gotta just be comfortable and know your partner. Your partner. I feel like if you really fuck with them, that shit, it ain't, ain't no issue. It's no, like, that's right. Uh, because if you really do fuck with somebody, you don't be caring. But if you don't, like everything you, they do is just We'll do it again, babe. Exactly. No, <laughs> would, y'all, would y'all be shocked to know that it's still childish people that like be like women, they don't. We just don't. It's women I know do not do number two around. They do. They done been in relationships with they do for a long time. <laughs> that is dangerous. Yeah, you like, would die. Like women I know wouldn't dare do that. And I'll be like, get, get out. Yeah, I feel. I sometimes I feel like <laughs> girls feel they special because I'll be talking on the phone with them while I'm doing that. It's like <laughs> right, man, you got all access, baby. You got all access pass right now. I, I ain't naming no names, <laughs> I <laughs> but what I can't. <laughs> right. I ain't naming hey, no, call me back. <laughs> I ain't naming no names, but one thing I cannot deal with is that straining. I'm not gonna talk to you about you straining. 
I'm gonna mute the phone. Don't go. Uh, don't do that while I'm in your face, because bitch, no. <laughs> no. I, I, if we on the phone, don't start nah, pushing nigga, down and you mute. having a hard time. Hey, nigga, and I have to hear that. I'm not gonna deal with that. Now, if I, you just tell me, oh, you in the bathroom, if I'm at your house or whatever, and you number two or whatever the case may be, that's fine. But don't start pushing down and I hear you. Uh, you can't talk oh, no more. That's kind of no. You don't need me. I don't want to hear that part. I don't care about none of that other stuff, hey, but don't start straining. In and out. Cause somebody used to do that and I ain't calling no names. I hated it. I was like, close the fucking door. <laughs> hey Sab, we got two more questions to ask, right? I want you to pick one. I just asked this one the right here. One, out of these one. right here. The second one. Pick one to ask. The second one? What you say? The second one. One, two. The one underneath it. Nah, you got a two. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> you want the second one? The one up under that? Okay, the second one. <laughs> When the women in the room, do you feel like it's mandatory for you to cook seven days out of the week? Mm. Who y'all asking about? You women. women in the room. Look, you. Okay, so. V, I done, done caught some lives and some, three, some oh stories, five. and you and that bitch whipping it up now. It's very tricky. All right. So, since I've been like 100% vegan, you know, be vegetarian, going into be, be, being vegan, I've had two boyfriends that have lived with me, been, you know, been at the crib, whatever. So, hey, let me yeah. stop you right there, real quick. Before you do that, go watch Rick Rubin's new interview on Joe Rogan's oh, podcast about veganism. Sure, just saying. For sure. I just wanted to go. So, mm, that, that's, that's, that's pretty much my diet at this point. That's why it's hard to date. It's hard to, you know, accept dates from guys because when they want to go to steakhouses, all that. And I'm like, listen, I Fact. don't eat that. Get right. me a salad. Give me some vegan food, I'll be happy. Right. But as far as cooking at home, when I did have, you know, a boyfriend staying with me or we, you know, at each other's house for a long period of time, they do enjoy my vegan food. They don't mind it. Okay. You know, they eat meat on their own, but they will eat my vegan food. But the way I cook, I'm going to cook a big-ass pot of rice, some beans, some vegan chicken, some veggies. It's going to last about two, three days, so I'll cook two, two. Two, three days out the week, and I'm good. Okay. So All right, I'm not cooking sense. every day, and mind day. you, I'm vegan, but I have still cooked you some some wings or some steak. I will do it on occasion just to be a little, you know, I know right. you like this. I'm going to make mm. it. I don't want to smell it or touch it. I'm going to just cook it like. Big facts. It's ready, but, you know, I'll do it. Yeah, I'm pescatarian. So, I would. You ain't cooking ten times. I mean, you ain't cooking every day. No, it's right. about two to three times. Nah, but I respect it. She says she's a leftover girl. You got I, a lot of women out there that they don't. They disrespect the, the leftover. Uh, yeah, they really the do. They, the flavors be the soaked there a little bit more. Man. And, you know, I like saucy stuff. I like gravy. So I like. I got like a home girl like. right now. She toot her nose up at so, fucking leftovers. If you want that, please. If you want to eat out every night, that's on you. And see, Vonna, you know what's crazy? The guy who um my ex boyfriend, like he's he's vegan, but when I met him, he wasn't vegan so it was a big stress for me yeah it's very different it's a big stress for me he, he kind of complained about me not cooking yeah um as much but i just didn't know what to cook and then he was a very picky eater yeah and you is. know sometimes i have very soft feelings at times right. i'm a beast but you can right. hurt my feelings very easily right. i can cook a, a lot of things right mm -hmm. but once someone Oh, what kind of butter did you use? They mm -hmm. y'all ask a million nope. to one questions, and, I, and, and, I and I'm like, God damn, and I do like, <laughs> like so you know, being around people that's vegan, it kind of made made me eat a little different. That's one thing mm -hmm. I can honestly thank him for because mm -hmm. I was not eating the same way that I eat now. Like I try to eat more healthier now. At first, of course, we all know where I came from with the fried ribs and all of that stuff. <laughs> that situation. So Trey so been doing that kinda, shit for look, some time now. Yeah, that kind of. <laughs> That kind of was embedded in me, you know. You know, my family is from Bahamas, so we, I eat all types of food, Haitian food, all types of food. Mm -hmm. But to be in a relationship with a vegan boy, it take a strong person. It, it's different. It take a strong different. person. So yeah. It's, it's, even when I go to my mom's house, I have my little separate butter. Um, tub, I think he's something stuff. wrong. They the know. Tank. Everybody know how I like my food, so they, you know, I think they kind of, kind of grew on that. Big fat. Because it's not like habit to us. That's all. When it start being habit, got one more question. You learn better. Okay. Yeah, you learn. I love, I love, I love um, cooking meals, but like, it's cool. Like, if you just doing it, like, like how would she say? You require seven days. Yeah, seven days is a lot, man. You gotta think about it. that's a lot of. Feel like, mm. Oh wait, wait. Oh wait. This is a major issue. This is a major, major issue right now. Are you requiring something that you're not putting money towards also? Because food is very expensive. Yeah, that shit expensive as if hell right now. you have a right girlfriend and you're not you paying food. half of her bills or giving mm -hmm. her money or whatever the case may be, she's footing that whole grocery bill by herself. Like, right. 
her buying food for one person versus her buying food for two people, that's a lot of money. Like, whether y'all want to under, I don't care about, oh, yeah, you love the person, all that. That, that shit will put but your ass in debt. Regardless of the fucking price, food. Look at, look at what I do all day. I'm working all day, interviews at night, club at night. What time do I have to cook seven nights out the week? So if you, yeah, you want to eat like that, I feel like right. if you make a way for that person to eat, that's good. You ain't got to be cooking. If I'm in a relationship with a girl, get the mic. Get the mic. You put the mic on. If I'm in a relationship with a girl, and you can call it what you want. I ain't gonna lie to you. After four or five months, I'm gonna want you to move in with me, or we get us right. a place. If you don't feel comfortable moving in, we got them like, like three, four months. Right. Feel like you know, like the job, the little ninety day period and shit. But yeah, you gotta, you got cause I'm first. But of all, I got one question. Do, do you know how to cook? Hell yeah. See, you never seen cooking with curb? Oh my oh, god, yeah. <laughs> cooking with curb. I seen curb has oh. mastered just. <laughs> hey Kurt, wow. that's a hell of a segment. I, I like that. Uh, I remember me, me and uh, me and me and DKE, we was living in um, we was in it, we was living in Georgia, uh -huh. and we had like all this leftover shit in the fridge, like fried uh, shrimp and all. Mm. Man, I took all this shit. I put that <laughs> in a little pot. My hey, brother was Kurt, I ain't stereotyping, but hold on, I gotta go. You, you did time before you ever. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. My You're resourceful, like nigga, man. Niggas know how to put shit together, make shit together. work. <laughs> right, you gotta make it work. You gotta make it work. I can cook regular. It's shit. a regular shit. Nah, I'm just, good. Like with, I don't you know, like men that don't know how to cook. I just, re I'm really not attracted to men that know how to cook. <laughs> I just really, really don't. Like I remember, I had started dating after Maurice. Like I was literally, I had my face. Like I don't. Okay, you brought me Chanel back. Okay, you brought me Louboutin shoes. Okay, do you know how to cook ribs? Do you know how to cook? Do you know how to cook baked chicken? Like I just that. Like not to compare nobody to him, but I I love fucking food. I love right. food more than I love materialistic stuff. Right, right, right. I heard, I heard a girl. I heard a girl. <laughs> Yeah, I had a girl bragging to her friend about my food one time. I was living with a girl, and I had her made like some um, fish and grits or shrimp and grits, something like that. Mm -hmm. And she would kind of be in a little sneaky. I ain't going to lie. She would be in a little sneaky, so I'm listening <laughs> to a conversation. She in the other room, but I'm, I got my ear on the wall and mm -hmm. shit. And I hear like, hell yeah, nigga. She, act, she was moving crazy. <laughs> you, I, hey, right. <laughs> I, I ain't on listen, what's that, but I ain't <laughs> saying <the> shit. <laughs> so, so, I'm like, I'm like, um, I hear her telling the homegirl, bitch, this nigga just cooked me some fish and grits. Yeah, we be I bragging. I ain't cooking for this motherfucker no more. He be acting like he don't know how to cook, but that shit was gooder than the fish. You know what I'm saying? But, right. yeah, you got to... You, even if you can't cook, man, you need to learn. To cook like, like I was saying, cook, the guy who had started dating, he made ribs. Like I had talked so much shit, I was like, damn, you know what I mean? The I vegan like, dude shit. made ribs no, for no, you. No, that okay. was my ex boyfriend. They got okay. when I left Trick, like the okay, person okay. I started dating after the fact. Like he had cooked some of the best ribs ever, and I was like, oh wait, I can stay over here a little longer. <laughs> Like, cause at first I was like, bro, I ain't never seen you cook. Say relationships. No, for real. I'm saying I like I like men to do that for me. Like, yeah, I love gifts. Don't get me wrong, I love gifts, flowers, candles, money, all that stuff. But when you sit in that kitchen and I see you whipping it up for me, and I, it's just something about that for me. It's a different kind. Of yeah, it's a different type of feeling for me. Cause all right. when all the money gone, so all when I want to say all the money gone, enjoy it. it's more personal. Like it's more yeah, hard. to me it is. <laughs> Even if you do that for fifty bitches, like to me, I'm still gonna take it personal because that's what I like. Big facts. So that was the last question, right? We got one more because I know you gotta go to the restroom. You can answer this quick. <laughs> this is the last one. First date, first date, y'all get up to uh, the front of the movie line and do whips out the fifty percent off coupon ticket. Like yo, hey. Hey, give it to him. Take it. Take it. Yeah. What the f you mean? Okay. We can spend that money First on something date. else. Okay. We can spend that money on something else. I ain't gonna judge you. Okay. We can spend that money on something else. We can buy more food. Okay. Instead of me getting what if, okay, let me ask one you this. nacho and cheese, I can get two nachos and cheese. It, damn. Okay. So with extra peppers. So let me ask you this. Cause this happened to a friend of mine before. You get to the movies. And the guy finesse the turnstile. He get y'all all the way in free. He ain't have to come no, out. I ain't nothing. doing that though, cause I'm, I'm too scary. I'm not. The not guy. not like y'all gotta jump over it, but like man, he just hey y'all in free. Let's go. We're gonna keep walking. If he do first of all, like I said, I'm too scary. I won't even do that. But if he if I decide to do something like that, we must be finna go to um, Prime One Twelve afterwards. Mm. 
Okay. And I'm finna buy two afterwards. After, after, after that the movies, movie, because you got air free, so that money. free, so we finna must be balled out at prime. You would try to. I would try you and see if you with a little. But see, he play too much. I see he'll do that. Like he'll do that. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna be like, come on, baby, come on. And then if you act like you don't want to come, I'm gonna be like, hey, she's trying to. I'm gonna. But I like to have fun, so it's like. I'm a, I'm a really like, I like that. 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 That fifty percent off ticket, we good. It's good with you. I, I love free shit. Shit, and getting on half off shit. Well, let me ask you this, oh, Joy. Let me let me let me let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. If a bitch trying to look out, you know that is. But I do really like paying full price because I'm funny about my services, bitch. Like you need to treat me oh, yeah, like like handle me tip top shape, bitch. So I want to pay everything, bitch. So when you your ass five minutes late, I could be like, hey, 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 hey. You feel what I'm saying? Right, so, right. Yeah, but. I like free shit. That's uh, like the free drinks at the club when they water them down. Mm-mm. But it definitely, definitely. That was that was the last one. Oh, shit, man. It was a pleasure having all y'all up here. Our extended family. Wait, wait. Say it again. All that, us up here. Look at uh, God. You said all joy, of, and joy, and joy and friends. Joy and friends. That's, That's the name right. of this segment, That's Joy right. and friends. And if you've been tuned in this whole time under the sounds of our voice tonight, we greatly appreciate you all for listening to this episode of uh, Rock the Block Champs. You feel me? Ah! <laughs> We're gonna have this episode out as as soon as we can, as soon as possible, possibly by tomorrow. And um, Sal, go ahead. 